Number four, calculate the heat capacity in joules and in calories per degree of the following. And then we have letter A. So in this case, we have to find the heat capacity of 28.4 grams of water. Now, I'm assuming that this is liquid water, not, you know, solid water, aka ice. So we're going to be doing the heat capacity for liquid water. So H2O as a liquid. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to know in order to do this problem. I've written these down on the bottom left-hand corner for you guys. These, according to your teacher or professor, should be memorized, okay? So these are like extra things that your teacher or professor might want you to memorize for your quizzes or tests. So you should know that for every one calorie, that equates to 4.184 joules, which we will be using later, but the 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 more important thing is you probably need to memorize a specific heat of water, liquid water, H2O as a liquid, and that's always 4.184. Okay. Now, we need to find out the heat capacity, right? So, well, what's the formula for heat capacity? It's this guy, right? I'll put this over here. It's just capital C equals M times S. Capital C is the heat capacity. And if we're using this formula, the heat capacity is always going to be in joules per degree Celsius. So that's the first answer that we're going to get in. We're going to get it into joules per degree Celsius. Okay, and then we got to convert to calories. The M stands for mass. And if we're using this formula, the mass has to be in grams. And then the S stands for the specific heat. And this is specific for each individual compound or element. In this case, they're talking about liquid water. So I have to use the specific heat number for liquid water, which is 4.184. Okay, so let's plug it in. We need to solve for heat capacity. So capital C equals the mass, and they already gave it to us in grams. So 28.4. Now, I don't really plug in my units here. Like I won't put in like a G here. It just gets a little complicated, but I know that, you know, this has to be in grams, so I'm good. And then I take my mass and I multiply it by the specific heat of that element, right? And it's 4.184. And let's calculate it. The heat capacity, right, uh, is 28.4 times 4.184. And with three sig figs, since I started off with three sig figs, I should end with three sig figs. So this would be roughly about 119 joules per degree Celsius. So this is basically saying for water, um, for every one degree Celsius you will have 119 joules. Okay. So this is the first answer. This is in joules per degree Celsius. Now we just got to find it out what it is in calories. That's where this conversion comes into play. I just need to convert the joules into calories. Now take note, they told us that this was a lowercase c. Sometimes they might tell you to convert to capital C for calorie. Just know that a capital C for calorie is kilocalories. That's not what we're doing here. We're just doing the lowercase one. So let's convert. Let's use our dimensional analysis that we learned, uh, you know, in the past couple of chapters, right? I don't have to do anything with this degree Celsius, so I'm just going to leave it, right? But remember, anytime that you want to convert from one unit or to another, in this case, we want to convert the joules to the calories, just multiply by the ratio. You throw the letter you don't want or the unit that you don't want on the opposite side. So in this case, it's on the bottom. And then the unit that we want, in this case, it's calories, will go on the top. So maybe I'll just put cal. What are the numbers? Well, for every one calorie, oop, for every one calorie, there's 4.184 joules. They're equivalent to each other. Just two different units of an energy value. So for every one calorie, so one goes on the top, there's 4.184 joules, and that goes on the bottom. And the joules cancel out, and now you have your new number. So 119 
divided by 4.184, because this number is on the bottom. So let's do that. 119 divided by 4.184. Keep with three sig figs. So now we have 28.4. And now that's in cal, calorie per degree Celsius. And that is your second answer. They are the same numbers, but just different units. So they are equivalent to each other. So 119 joules per degree Celsius is the same thing as 28.4 calories per degree Celsius. And that's it. Guys, hope for this help. Let me know in the comments what you think. Remember this formula, all right, and the units that you need to have them in. And let me just put it in here. Specific heat is always going to be joule per gram times degree Celsius. Okay. So usually those are pretty standard numbers. They're not going to really give you any other unit, but if you do just convert. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the next question. Have an awesome day and keep studying hard. You guys got this. Bye-bye.